I had this show I was supposed to go do. So, man, that's the only time in my career I ever, like, last second, backed out of doing a show to go meet with Slim. And I told him this when I met with him. And he was like, how much you was going to get paid at that show? And I told him, right? It was a few racks at the time. Um, man, he went in his pocket and oh, just... And just that ain't nothing. Just Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Got that confirmed by Mac Man. Also got that confirmed by Birdman and Slim because uh, they actually tried to sign me a little bit after that song. I remember. I, I heard something about that. I didn't agree with you on it, but... You thought I, you thought I should have signed to them? I, I think so much bigger than certain people. You know what I mean? When I say certain people, just... I think different, man. Like, like I really feel like you, you, you special. God got you in a position for a reason. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I don't think people understand the, the gist of the natural man versus the spiritual man. Just because one may be older than you and seem to be wiser and richer, they still not be in the spirit to realm. You totally something different. So you're a big brother. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So I felt like these are opportunities where I, somebody can get saved and helped because you're that powerful. Mm. Mm. So... Do you understand where I'm coming I from? I totally understand. I to so, <laughs> That's so, all I'm saying. Not in a bad way. I know you did it and God put you in different situations where you've been able to help a lot more people. But at the end of the day, I just think that a lot of times, it was a couple of situations where I researched and I was like, man, they need this guy. Mm. So here's the thing. Can you have a relationship without being in business with somebody is the question. Yeah. Yes. And that's the part for me that I was just like, yo, I don't mind having a relationship, but in terms of having to be signed, like, I'm not really feeling the idea of being signed because truthfully, most of the people that got signed to them didn't blow up. Well, I can't go there with you. Man. When you think about it, you talking about Drake? Drake blew up. You talking about Nicki Minaj? She blew up. You talking about uh, Juvenile didn't blow up? He blew up. But you see what I'm saying? I mean, and now and, let me name twenty that didn't. But it ain't about it ain't really about for me blowing up because that's the physical of it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I think as far as the paperwork, that's something when you do sign up for something, you got to stand on what you sign up for. So mm -hmm. I don't know the situation as far as the paperwork, mm -hmm. but spiritually, mm -hmm. it's a different world for me. That's all I'm saying. Gotcha. You get gotcha. it? So I get it. What yeah. you're saying? I know physical opportunity is going to definitely be there, mm -hmm. but spiritual is way more important, and I think people don't give that. It's just yeah. Yeah, you know, but yeah. like I said, you could have changed their whole cash money might be something totally different, man, because of the power in you. That's all I'm saying. So I'm gonna say this too. One of the things I'm I, I pride myself on is God has uniquely positioned me to be as bold as I am about being a man of God and having this message in my music and my whole mission vision movement is all about being real, righteous, and relevant. But at the same time, I got that authenticity that speaks to people who might currently be in a whole different headspace in their life you know i'm gonna show you this right quick like this is this two days ago you know what i mean oh yeah for sure you know yeah that's so, hard that's yeah hard. Like, I like it and and that's and that's him reaching out to me send that to me yeah i sent it to you that's him reaching out to me like you know i don't mind saying in the interview that's me and kodak on facetime yeah. kodak black and when we talking on facetime for like 30 something minutes just running it you know what i mean it ain't about no it ain't even about no business. That's it. It's about some, it's about, it's love. You see that smile, you know That's what I'm saying? It. Yeah. I'm thankful, bro, that like. That's powerful, too. Yeah, and, and, and the relationship here different when you don't want anything from these people. That's true. At that time, bro, my, my whole life wasn't what it is now. So yeah. with the cash money situation, it was like. I get it. Yeah, bro, it was like, man, I. Like I'm trying to figure it out. There right? you go. I'm trying to figure it out right now. By you the grace of God, it. I got to figure it out, my That's brother. It. Like we, no, we, I get it. We, li we living good right now. I figured that when I re when I seen him, I was like, he was younger. But I just know that God got some special in you because of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's powerful, man. Like many people are not gonna be able to reach the people me and you gonna talk to. That's what this is all about. And I've told you that. You know what I mean? Like, and when I get that opportunity, it's an opportunity for me to inject some in them. They'll never get, and it's not gonna be forced on them. There you go. It's just gonna be who I am. There you go. And that's the part right there. So mm -hmm. it's is for for that for that what you have to be in the midst of a certain group of people, no matter who it is. Mm -hmm. It's gonna change things. Absolutely. So <laughs> you know, so that's so that's that's what I've been doing, man. It was hard to say no to it though, bro. Like one time, Slim Slim, I was sitting down meeting with Slim in his hotel room and man, we were talking and I had a show that day, but when Slim called and told me he was in town and he wanted to meet with me, I was like, 
dang, I don't want to miss out on this this meeting with Slim. But I had this show I was supposed to go do. So, man, that's the only time in my career I ever, like, last second, backed out of doing a show to go meet with Slim. And I told him this when I met with him. And he was like, how much you was going to get paid at that show? And I told him, right? It was a few racks at the time. Um, man, he went in his pocket and just... And just so that ain't nothing. Just gave me that, bro. So when you around that type of money back then, keep in mind that back then where I was coming from making thirty nine thousand a year as a teacher, and I'm just like, man, this man just gave me like three G's, just yeah, just, just like, like that. that, like it's nothing, mm-hmm. you know. I used to have to work about uh, almost a whole month to make three thousand dollars as a teacher, you know. When I'm seeing that, it's hard to say no to that stuff, man. Um, but. Hopefully people feel me on this. Sometimes you could be focused on planting seeds in life and letting God use you. God, I got all these seeds I want to plant all around the world. But you got to recognize that some of the soil that you're trying to plant those seeds on, some of that soil is infertile. Yeah. So no matter how many seeds you plant on that soil, it's infertile. And it's like, are you going to waste your life just trying to plant seeds where you want to plant them at? Or are you going to be like, man, God is like organically opening all these doors for me to reach all these people and plant all these seeds. And for me, that was that's what I chose. And I think that's the best decision I could have made as a young brother coming up in hip hop is not to be selfish with my gift. Because... Yeah, all my partners, man, that's cash money, man. Go, man, what you mean? We grew up looking up to them dudes. But that's the difference. We grew up idolizing them dudes. But idolizing somebody is actually a sin. Definitely. You know, that's going against the Ten Commandments. We grew up looking at these people as legends. Now that I'm older and wiser, I'm like, we got to watch that word legend, bro. When we throw that word out there, it's like a legend of what? If you're a legend at poisoning our community, and making negativity sound good because you lyrical and because you got a, a fire flow, I don't want to call that legendary anymore. Just because we grew up and it was mass marketed to us and people was like, man, these 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 the people that, that's the spokesman for y'all city and all that. All right, cool. I could pull out the, the good from, from anything, but ultimately I'm not idolizing nobody and I'm not calling people legends at this point who when you really break down what they're a legend of, it's like, man, that that contributed to more of what's wrong with my generation is that we grew up looking up to some of this. That's real. Um, like Cash Money, Master P, uh, No Limit. We've been campaigning to get them in the same room in the same setting. You know what I mean? For mm. us, just to try to try to just to look. It doesn't. Well, is it gonna change? Is it just like Jeff Ford and me you talking about Larry Hoover Jr.'s dad, Larry, who ate breakfast together? Certain things just need to be done symbolically. It means something. It could save one life, and that's powerful. You see what I'm saying? So the thing is. I always look at these opportunities and these platforms and these ways that we're able to deal with these people. Now, today, if D1 gets this opportunity to deal with cash money or to deal with whoever, it's a whole nother mature level of who this guy D1 is. You you see what I'm saying? So I get it. I I understand it. And I know, but I just know you're a powerful, powerful brother when Mm. you come down to influence. Look who you got on the phone. Uh, I, I could see you with, with a NBA young boy the same way. I could see you with a with a, a, a Fred O'Bain. Fred O'Bain. That's my little student. I was his teacher. Okay, Fred O'Bain. That's my little I, mean? I hear things. I think yeah, Fred O'Bain locked up right now. No, 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 no Fred no, not not Fredo, up. He, he out of where? Uh, Fredo is out of Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. No, I was talking yeah. about who's the boy out of Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, um, his, uh, 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 Trap Boy Freddie. No, not no, 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 no. He out. Of, he out of Dallas. His name? Bankroll Bank Freddy. Freddy. That's what I meant to say. He locked yeah. up. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.